Hello, my name is Tristan Tito. I'm an eco-fitted furniture pioneer and today I'm going to be talking about MDF, which is medium density fibre board. The reason why I've decided to start with MDF is because last November in 2010, I decided to start looking into different materials and the first one I thought I would start was MDF, which we've been using for the past eight years to build our fitted furniture. So I was interested in the sustainable and ecological side of it, if there was any at all. And surprisingly, this is quite a good board. It's got some good aspects to it, but it is a Jekyll and Hyde kind of board, I would describe it. And the should i start with the good or the bad uh i'll start with the good have some bad and then finish with more good so the good thing about this board is it's made from a waste product so it comes it's made from sawdust which comes from sawmills that normally would be useful for nothing and it's also made of finnings from forests and finnings are trees that haven't grown to a satisfactory size or are just not really going to be growing to the size that they need to be so they've kept they've kept the good trees to to grow on and cut for planks and that kind of timber for the construction industry so anything that's no good for that is a thinning and just gets chopped and is suitable for and is used for mdf as well as the the waste sawdust so that's one thing. Then the forest that this particular MDF come, comes from, which is M Medite MDF, is FSC wood. So it comes from forests that are certified by the Forest Stewardships Council. And that's a good thing because it means that the wood has been replanted every year. It's been maintained under certain, certain standards that I will tell you about Greenpeace has a good wood guide and they say about the FSC that the FSC principles are strict and closely monitored by the way it's uh, the FSC is a, a non-profit organization and it's there just to to look after trees and and, and also the, the tree industry so it's made up of different kinds of people so so the uh, FSC principles are strict and closely monitored they ensure that natural forests are conserved that endangered species and their habitats are protected and that forest workers and forest dependent communities are respected so it's more than just a wood it's a holistic kind of approach to looking after the trees the surrounding the people who depend on it the FSC enjoys broad support from conservation groups, indigenous communities and forest product buyers. The FSC gives equal decision making rights to economic, social and environmental interests. So it's not just all about the environment and sod the, the people who want to make money out of it because everybody needs to make money out of it and out of wood and make a living and that's a very important part. So the good thing is they, they take that into consideration. So the wood that, that this is made of is, is, is good, it's been thought about. Now the bad side is that it contains, a plank like this contains 10 to 15% glue, which is made up of formaldehyde. And this is the proportion of glue that would be contained in this board. And the a board like this contains less formaldehyde than it used to before 19 before 2008 sorry um, 100 mill 100 grams of wood contained 8 milligrams of uh, 8 milligrams of formaldehyde and after 2008 that went from 8 milligrams to 6 milligrams per 100 grams so there's a slight improvement there but it still contains formaldehyde and it still contains glue there are other alternatives to that now such as mdi glues 
that I'll talk about another time. So I'm just concentrating really on what most of the world uses, which is MDF that contains formaldehyde. And really what's wrong with formaldehyde is it, one, it's not sustainable because it comes from a petrochemical. So it, it comes out of the, the, the ground and it's uh, reliant on oil and all the negative side effects that oil production has, which are many and I don't really have the time to go into now but uh, that's not really a good thing it's not sustainable to take oil out of the ground regardless of what the political impacts are because it's just you're you're just living on borrowed time you're taking something from uh, a bit like uh, if you save some money under your bed not that people do anymore but it's a bit like taking money from under your bed and spending it and you're rich and it's all great but eventually it's going to run out. You need to really be investing, doing new ventures, getting a job, doing new stuff, creating stuff to be producing some money so that it starts going round and you can start topping up the money that you've got. So, so that side is not very sustainable, but there's great potential for this because my dream and belief is that in the future this will the, this proportion will be made of a natural material so the glue will be natural or there might even not be any glue which would be even better but if it's natural it's all good really but the simpler the process the better so if it's got no glue in it then it's less of a process less manufacturing less energy cons consumed less raw materials used so my dream really is that one day this mdf and mark my words, I believe and will do everything I can to, to promote the idea that this will be and should be a completely natural and sustainable material that at the end of its life you can either put it on your compost pile or you can burn it in the house just like you would any old wood because really all that wants to come out of this is nothing more than wood come out of a log that you've cut from a tree so it just needs to be as harmless as that really and I believe that that's possible and that that will happen and in fact I don't think we've got a choice about it because if it's not like that it isn't fully sustainable and if we're not fully sustainable in the future then we'll be heading towards a dead end because something that isn't sustainable uh, I mean the opposite of, of something that's sustainable doesn't go around in circles and just hits it's a dead wall so that kind of thing isn't going to be able to exist in the future um, I think I've said everything I want to say about MDF so at the moment most people use it it's not a sustainable product but I just want to highlight the fact that it's possible that it can be and will be in the future and it's something that a lot of people use all the hotels in the world, all the offices, everybody uses MDF and chipboard, which is a similar material. And I don't think that ignoring the issue and ignoring the fact, just because it isn't sustainable yet, I don't think that ignoring the fact that most people use it is, is a good thing to do. So what I'm trying to do is make people aware of what MDF is and where it can go. And that's my mission. Thank you for listening.